This time around, I wanted to show off the um, getting the necessary tooling to work with the CB framework up and running. Uh, so assuming you don't already have it installed, we need to install Node. And the reason for that is because the framework is developed in uh, TypeScript, uh, but CB expects everything to be in JavaScript. Now, TypeScript is just an extension of JavaScript, so it just compiles right down. Uh, it just adds a few new features. So any valid JavaScript is also valid TypeScript. If you're already JavaScript developer, you'd have no problem picking up TypeScript. Uh, but it adds a few features that are really useful for this kind of thing. Uh, really useful for any kind of more sophisticated product, really. Uh, so head on over to nodejs.org, and of course I'll have a link in the video description. Um, but just download the current one. Uh, the LTS is more for a business that needs a very stable version, but you're not really going to need that. Uh, the, the current is fine, it's stable enough, and everything else. Um, I already have that installed. You should know how to install stuff on your system, so yeah. Once that's done, uh, just pull up your PowerShell or your terminal, what, depending on whatever system you're on. These instructions are going to be the exact same. Uh, just in, type in npm space and then install space hyphen g and then TypeScript. So this will install the TypeScript compiler globally. And then just to make sure that is on, on the system itself, not just for your specific user. Um, then once this is installed, just make sure that it runs correctly. So you can type in TSC space hyphen hyphen help. And it should print out the help. If it says command not found, then for some reason it didn't get installed correctly. Um, figuring out why is a little tricky, but I, I can see if I can help you out there. But it should install through just fine. Uh, once that's done, you're basically set. This is what gets called to compile the projects down from a bunch of different TypeScript source files into one common uh, JavaScript file that can then be uploaded onto CB. I think next time I'll get around to showing um, how to actually create a new project using the framework.